So it's November 4th. I thought I'd do a video about my morning commute from Flushing to Manhattan. On my electric unicycle. Let's get started. We're going down Franklin Avenue right now toward uh, Flushing Meadow Corona Park, splitting lanes like normal. Turn at Avery, down this nice little path here. Bump, bump, and okay, we're good. Look at that light, it's so nice. So we're waiting for lights is the most time consuming part of my commute. I've been at this intersection for like a minute and a half now. So a lot of nice things are happening and flushing now. Uh, for example, these bike lanes right here. This literally happened in the last two weeks. Fantastic. Some of my friends don't ride the bike lanes, but I don't know, I still like them. Look at that detail. Oh my God. So well thought out. And then now we are in Flushing Meadow Corona Park right there. And we're gonna be in here for about the next 10 minutes. Look at that. You won't see this commuting in a subway. We're in a car every morning, I'll tell you that. So the entire commute is gonna be about an hour and a half. I have to be at the office at 8.30. It's now about seven. So we're cutting it tight, but I think we can do it. It's also about 41 degrees. So it's cold as balls out here. Here we have the Unisphere. Don't really see this kind of stuff when you're locked in a box traveling 25 miles an hour. It's about the same speed I go on this unicycle. So you don't lose much by riding this, but there's a lot to gain, you know? Nice little garden here. And now we go down here. And I don't know if you can hear the birds in the background, but if you don't know yet, this is the Queen's Zoo. So right here, we're coming up on another public sculpture and some missiles in the background there. And of course, the reason is because we're passing the New York Halls of Science. Really not bad, huh? There's the seven train, if we were to take it. I feel like this is the most dangerous part. So nervous about being doored, you know? You never know. Somebody could just be sitting in a car, not pay attention, open the door, and next thing you know, you're thrown into traffic, getting run over. Oh, they're little kids. No, we're going this way. That is why a unicycle is better. All right, we're on 110th Street. We're gonna go to 34th Avenue. I don't know what this guy is doing. That's why it's so dangerous riding anything. Bicycles, electric unicycles, whatever in the city, the bike lane, because no one else cares about your bike lane rules, you know? They park on the bike lane all the time. 107 to 100th Street right here. 99th Street, passing 87th Street. We're literally counting down to Manhattan one street at a time here. People waiting for the bus. I see them every morning as well. Okay, babe. Thank you. Crazy, riding to work on a unicycle, 11 miles. They just repaved this road, it's so smooth. All right, so we gotta be careful here because there's always a blind spot because this truck is parked here. And there's an intersection right there, but I think we're good. There we go. There's a bump up ahead that's invisible, but it's horrible, I hit it every time. Ah, okay, I see it. See that? It's right there. That bump there is horrible because you're slowing down, so you're leaning back and your knees are more locked than normal. It just sends shock waves up your whole body. All right, we're gonna signal as we're turning left onto 59th Street. So this right here is another double blind spot. I have to stop, but it's so tight here. Cross traffic from both directions and they have no stop sign. I don't know, I feel nervous every time. They should definitely put a stop sign there or something. Here's another stretch of road that was just repaved. Okay, so then I'll go. Yep, of course, there's always one. So we just made a small turn and now we're gonna go on to 39th Avenue. And this is a bit of a quieter street here. We're trying to get onto the Queensboro Bridge into Manhattan. And once you get used to it, 41 degrees isn't bad. It's like a dry, cold, feels very crisp, really nice actually. Skillman Avenue, so we're gonna go down this road here. Approaching Long Island City, once we get past 39th Street, we should be in the area. A lot of commuters in the morning. You 
can see all those new construction happening in the distance there. So you can see the seven train right there. It's a great train actually, direct route from my apartment to work, but uh, there's nothing like riding a uni in the morning. This is a beautiful area. A lot of different trains merging together here. Look at that. I don't know, there's something about infrastructure that's so beautiful. See the structure of these things that are like 100 years old and still operational. Yesterday, Sunday, this entire area was closed off because of the uh, Five Borough Marathon that was happening. All right, I'm entering the bridge right now. And here we go. So I had someone from work ask me, like, do you hate public transportation this much? That you want to ride to work every day? It's like, no, I just like riding uni that much, you know? So look at that, congested, uncomfortable. Meanwhile, we're passing all of them and look at that view. Look how beautiful that is. Passing the uh, East River here. The tram to Roosevelt Island right there. And we just passed Roosevelt. So Queensboro Bridge also means breakfast. Not bad. All right, we're just coming down the 59th Street Bridge, almost at the end of our journey here into Manhattan. So next, what we're gonna do is take 2nd Avenue down. So that's just the bridge we came down. Love the bike lane. So this is the famous Manhattan traffic. And look at all those cars that are just stuck there. Plan here is to go down to 55th Street, make a right to 7th Avenue, then go down to 40th Street. There's another one of those uh, infamous bumps here too. New York City. All right, here's 55. We're gonna make a right. You notice a difference in the road quality immediately. It's like shitty Manhattan roads. You can't beat that view. So that cube building is 432nd Park Avenue. It's currently the tallest residential tower in America. So uh, Central Park is that way. And Times Square is that way. All these nice buildings right here. See this one? Don't open. Yep, of course, why not? No respect for the bike lane. Oh my God. You have got to be kidding me. All right, 7th Ave. So uh, we're gonna pass right through Times Square on our commute as well. And here's Times Square. Turn a 40th. It is this building. It's not bad. It's a nice spot. Look at those pigeons. Yeah, that, that's not good. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. 